The coronavirus pandemic has brought out the best of Fijians in recent weeks. There are numerous tales of people going out of their way to help those who've lost their jobs, providing groceries for an entire family or essentials for a newborn. In tonight's successful Fijian segment, we speak to a man who's taken our time to help those suffering mentally and psychologically, and he's doing it at no cost. Venina Rakatonga with the story. With 10 years of counseling experience, Lionel Rogers felt he needed to do something in light of the COVID-19 crisis and what better way than to put his skills to use. I do pro bono counseling for Youth Champs for Mental Health, a youth-led organization that's focused on suicide prevention and mental health. We've been running since 2008 and we provide uh, community awareness and education as well as counseling in the community. As hundreds lost their jobs, families struggled to put food on the table, and others had to live with social restrictions. Rogers has counseled dozens of people, giving them peace of mind and strength. With the COVID-19 pandemic, there were a lot of people facing anxiety, uh, mental health struggles because they were placed in isolation. And in Fiji, uh, uh, we have a culture of community, of being together, social connections, and having this uh, very... Um, new disease come or new virus come into Fiji and having everyone isolated, having the curfew. A lot of people were facing distress, a lot of people lost their jobs, hours reduced. Rogers doesn't work alone. He and his team at the Youth Champs for Mental Health have faced tough times themselves. Like all non-governmental organizations, funding um, resources is a huge um, challenge, but we try to work around that using innovative methods such as social media platforms um, to discuss mental health and suicide. Although there is a limited number of mental health professionals, there are services such as ours who reach out to um, young people and tell them, you know, space is available, you can talk to someone, you don't need to struggle alone. With no end in sight to the economic impacts of COVID-19, Rogers says he is committed to helping as many people as possible, even if it's just a listening ear. Um, what started off as a little try turned out into 40 plus counseling cases um, that was over the last week. People who need counseling can reach out to Rogers and his team via their Facebook page from the comfort of their homes. Venina Rakotonga, FPC News.